This disease is often called silent killer, especially during winter, and molting. Paratyphoid is one of the most common diseases infecting domestic pigeons, yet it is very often forgotten by owners. It can move quite quickly through a flock of pigeons, making them sick and perhaps even killing some of them. The evolution of viruses and diseases is happening just like the evolution of the racing pigeon nowadays. The viruses are highly resistant to antibiotics, so it's important to consult the veterinarian for the correct antibiotic and dosage before using them. What is paratyphoid? Paratyphoid is a bacterial infection of the intestinal tract and bloodstream caused by one of three strains of the Salmonella bacteria. This enteric infection is similar to typhoid and is spread via infected droppings which contaminate food, water, and bedding. There is one strain of the bacteria that is specific to pigeons, Salmonella var, Copenhagen. The issue can be complex because, like with all bacterial infections, some birds may carry the disease but not present any symptoms. Some birds can remain as asymptomatic carriers of paratyphoid even after treatment. Unfortunately, the bacterium is hardy and can remain in pigeon poop and dust for months. The disease. The infection begins in the intestine. The bloodstream then carries it to all other organs including liver, brain, spleen, and lungs. It also infects joints, muscles, and skin. Because it can also infect the ovary, any eggs that are laid will also be contaminated. In the case of an infected egg, the embryo may die or the squab is born with the infection. If the squab survives, it may pass on the disease or it may die within 4, 14 days of hatching. Treatment of Paratyphoid in Pigeons Swift action when one of your pigeons is sick is the best way to ensure that you keep the rest of the birds healthy and safe. Antibiotics like enrofloxacin and amoxicillin are the most effective treatment method, and a sensitivity test will tell what strain of the disease your pigeon has so that the appropriate medication can be used. Be sure to separate any sick pigeons from the rest of the flock to help contain the spread of paratyphoid. Prevention and natural remedies that can support recovery. It's always better to take preventative measures rather than waiting until you have sick pigeons to deal with paratyphoid. It's crucial to isolate infected pigeons to prevent the spread of the disease and maintain a stress-free environment. While natural remedies can support recovery, they should complement proper veterinary care. Here are some options. Garlic, known for its antibacterial properties. Milk thistle, useful for liver detoxification especially if the pigeon has been exposed to toxins, and probiotics. These promote gut health and strengthen the immune system. We all know that if we use the antibiotics, it kills also the good bacteria, so it's important to give them a good probiotics that could boost their immune system.